here's a tutorial for the Beatles, Let It Be. Beautiful song to play on an acoustic guitar. Um, I've already covered this one. I did it in G, uh, a little bit of a different version, more sort of finger plucking style, but um, I thought I'd show you how to do uh, the, the way it would be done on the album. Um, well, this is just my interpretation, of course, which is in C. Okay. Uh, so strangely enough, it starts on a C. Um, this, it's really just the, the, the intro and verse are the same. Um, so you just need to learn that main riff. Um, there's a little sort of little middle bit there and a, a solo part. Uh, so three little parts that we need to learn. So first part starts on a C, the intro, to a G, A minor. You briefly release the A minor to an A minor seven before going into an F major seven. I wouldn't recommend playing full F, uh, only because you do have to do a few little releases here and there, and if, you, if you're barring that F, it doesn't sound right. So get into the habit of playing F major 7 in this song, and if you can manage it, thumb, thumb the bass note there on the, on the F. Alright, let me just do the intro once for you. Starts on C. Oh, that's just downstrokes. To G. To A minor. And then on the A minor, down, release to A minor seven, down, and then to F major seven, down as well. So. Okay. Back to C. To G. major 7. Now on the F major 7, on the 4th string basically you're just going to be playing the 2nd the fret, playing the 4th open, back into your C. So while you've got your F major 7 shape there, just take your 3rd finger and put it up onto the 4th string and release those two. So you effectively got the A minor 7 shape, but you're just going to play the 4th string, open it, Keep your first finger there because you're going to be coming back for your C. Alright, so. So you get that. Do that a few times. Get into the hang of that because you're going to be doing that um, quite a bit through this song. Because when you get to that sort of middle solo bits, you're going to be doing it on the third string and the fifth string as well. Okay, so did you get that one more time? F major seven on the fourth string, release and C. So that um, keeps going through the, uh, when the singing starts as well in the verse. So when I find myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me, speaking words of wisdom. Let it be. And in my hour of darkness, she is standing right in front of me, speaking words of wisdom, let it be. Okay, then you come into the, let it be, let it be. Now, on your C there, you, then you're going to walk down into the A minor C, so then you're going to play the fifth string there on the second fret into your A minor. So C, let it be. A minor, let it be. To G, let it be. To F major seven, let it be. Back to C. And then again the same from the verse. Whisper words of wisdom, let it be. Right. Now if you're with me so far, you've got the whole song. You can do the whole song from just those parts, except for that little solo bit, which we'll, we'll get to in just one sec. So, just quickly recap so far. When I find myself, C, in times of trouble, G, Mother Mary, A minor, to A minor 7, comes to me, F major 7, 
Whisper words of wisdom C to G Let it be F major 7 Walking down on the 4th To a C right. Then walking down on the 5th To A minor Let it be A minor Let it be G Let it be F major 7 Let it be To C Whisper words of wisdom G Let it be F major 7 Walking down on the 4th To the C Okay, now you just need those that little middle bit. There's two chunks to that. First part starts on the F major seven. Then on the fourth, do that same walk down to the C. Now you can do the same on the fifth string. Right? To a G, F major 7, and C. So, on the fourth string, to C. On the fifth string, G, F major 7, C. And then for the second um, measure, start again on the F major 7. This time start on the third string. Alright, just play the third string, then release your third finger. Open, play it open, the third string, then play the fourth string. Now you're still fretting that formation. And then up to your C, then on to, you're going to start from the fourth string, like you do in the verse as well. And then open the fourth, then play the fifth. Alright? So. Right, so that's probably the, the trickiest bit in the whole song. And then you go back into an instrumental uh, part of the song, just playing the same chords as the verse again. So that's Let It Be. Very nice one, one of Paul's best. And that's the tutorial. See ya.